Hello and welcome back. After the disaster that was our attack on the Adrian International Airport, relatively speaking, I took a couple of hours to review the footage because well, it was like uh, two and a half hours in total, believe it or not. Um, yes, and I thoroughly analyzed the situation to discover what went wrong. Um, and uh, with the ultimate goal, of course, uh, to prevent any more casualties. And uh, I'm not sure why I missed this during the uh, battle, to be honest, Here. because we certainly noticed that there's something amiss with this truck in particular. Well, the same applies to these uh, trash containers, uh, which on paper should offer very good uh, cover as well as concealment. But as you can see, we can uh, look through them perfectly well. So that means, uh, well, certainly they are uh, they are marked as uh, impassable, so they have at least some geometry to them. But it's uh, certainly not um, in the proper way. So there must be just uh, one tile of the ground and offer absolutely no, no line of sight blocking capabilities and that uh, explains why uh, this guy here uh, was able to see and uh, shoot lucky here on our very first turn in the sector because well, otherwise um, it would not have been possible for him. Lucky was here, he was there, so there is a line of sight blocker or should have been. And that essentially meant that all the guys we had over here, as well as behind the building, uh, I mean, they were standing in the open, like big doofuses with absolutely zero protection uh, in front of them. So, good thing, at the very least, that the elites around these parts here, they didn't get to shoot at us with their accurate assault rifles. That could have been a disaster, uh, even more so than it already was. But uh, I suppose that uh, lucky expiring was not down to my ineptitude, but rather a combination of factors. And uh, I've narrowed down where this object is, and as well as its ge geometry. It's a one of those container files containing lots and lots of uh, custom sprites uh, with the very obvious name Office One or something along these lines. So it took me quite some time to discover it. Uh, and I've also found out where this uh, truck is, as well as the uh, other ones we ran into issues with. I do think uh, back at the Drake maintenance facility uh, for the bullet trains. And there are a couple of those around, they just differ by livery, but they have the same geometry, or, or yeah, but I do not have any because they are completely uh, passable and they don't even, uh, yeah, throw a shadow or anything like this if memory serves. And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, the truck in Sheraton, uh, where we attack the factory sector by, uh, after coming up the stairs here from the subway, well, um, that vehicle offered perfect protection because, because it was a uh, vanilla prop uh, as, as opposed to a custom one here by, urban, uh, by the urban chaos uh, development team so I do think that's something I will have to address in the immediate future but maybe not right now because well I have to make the decision here if I want to spend uh, hours and hours and hours on my troubleshooting or actually playing the game and uh, I do think in this instance yeah I would rather do the latter and uh, okay um, about our equipment, well, we had to pick up some weapons here off the ground and get them repaired, as well as some armor. Uh, for instance, with Posty, the PM-63 uh, doesn't count anymore, even if we were to put armor piercing bullets in that thing. Uh, okay, I said I only care about his presence here when it comes to suppression, but, uh, you know, it's... Uh, sometimes we need an... I mean, he, his uh, services w would be wasted if uh, all he does is suppress targets and occasionally hit something for zero damage or close to zero. So we picked up an AK-12 here in 762 was a pack and I gave him all the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, attachments I could to make the recall more, ma more manageable for him. But uh, unfortunately it's still off there by three points and some access it is not exposed anymore uh, unlike Fallout 70 but it's still internally it's still uh, restricted by the X and the Y axis so I'm not sure why they simplified this. It's not helpful to be honest. Um, this should really be transparent to the player because it can uh, have a very significant impact when it comes to choosing uh, any particular firearm. Yes, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. So yes, and her was also so low on shotgun ammo that I have to that I had to ditch the uh, Saiga and uh, gave all the ammo. Uh, excuse me, give all the ammo we had uh, to Hector, and we picked up uh, one of the PPK 12s here in 9 by 21. Not 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 enough of ammo to go around here, but uh, this does have the same compatibility here, except for the bayonet luck. And uh, wow, it's super armor piercing, and it does have uh, two round bursts here by the looks of it. I do I think this is a two more bars. Yes, I can, I can barely tell on my monitor. I suppose we will find out uh, soon enough here once they uh, once they try to retake the sector here. Maybe uh, maybe they won't. Maybe they. Well, I'm not sure. We'll see. Certainly. And then I do think uh, I do think we also picked up some night vision scopes here for some of our guys. Uh, mm, 
itself for for instance here for Hitman, um, since he does have the Sastava here with the AK Sideway, and he can just uh, switch between the 3.5 uh, times magnification one and the night vision uh, scope. And we also found this, uh, what is this, the um, heavy duty suppressor, uh, you, you could say. Uh, without code load ammo, it's not much of a uh, benefit to us, to be honest, right? I suppose we take it here for the uh, flash hiding um, ability. But it puts him a little overweight, unfortunately, but it's not a problem. And we also picked up some helmets here. Uh, for instance, Sex did, uh, was equipped with, with this Kepfer helmet, which, uh, if it were at perfect, in perfect condition, would have uh, 23 points of armor protection. And, uh, well, that's, let's compare this to some of the other helmets. I think this is the most basic one here, other than the steel helmet carries by the, carried by the elites. And uh, even that one has 26, and I do think 5 points or... Yeah, five points more of a uh, coverage, and then we even had some more uh, se uh, better selection here in the sector. Uh, for instance, this uh, I don't know, Russian or Soviet. I do think it's a little newer than this. Yeah, and this is you can see a 29 and 75, so it's a direct replacement. We did a, a good up, uh, upgrade here. And I do think uh, they aren't all fully repaired while we, we're we working on this. The first hour was spent on the weapons as usual, and the second one should be... Uh, they, they, then they should get to the armor here. Then hopefully uh, by the time the other battles over there, we should be in back in fighting shape. Um, once we have access to our uh, supplies, that is, and that's what we're working on. Um, a little problem though, I have withdrawn all the uh, Roman militia forces around here to help out with our push on Adrian and to actually hold this town or any of the sectors we conquer. Well, there's a counterattack incoming here of some description. I'm not uh, sure of, this co of the enemy's intention here or the composition or their goal or objective or anything like this. So we just uh, uh, took out some militia here from the city in, in, in a vain attempt <laughs> to catch them, I think, because at night the militia is a lot slower to operate. Uh, to reflect the need for sleep and all this and uh, I do think we have not eliminated a single enemy general so I'm not sure how many there are still left here in the country maybe could be up to three I think in total or even four and each uh, one of those uh, if they're still alive they provide a countrywide bonus uh, to the um ja, yeah, to the movement speed here of the enemy forces between every sector so there could be a uh, yeah, the, uh, the race here could be in vain, but I suppose uh, even if they were to attack any of our towns on the same side for that matter, we have lots of forces here. Uh, maybe not over in Sherbton because I did strip them bare bones and we only have some, I do think we have uh, 12 or something that is in every sector. I mean, that might be enough, but if, if, if these are all elites here and if they have a tank, I mean, shouldn't be the case because uh, as far as roaming patrols goes, I do think the indicator here of our armor being present is... Uh, Always displayed, but it's very concerning nonetheless. Uh, there could be other uh, uh, other patrols around here on their way, um, and that would leave us quite defenseless. So maybe I should, uh, for instance, think this around instead of uh, having this perimeter so heavily defended. Well, we'll see. For now, we actually have to f uh, focus here on the task at hand, and it would be to clear a path for our uh, supply lines. Yeah, because we really need those uh, supplies carried by the truck as well as the UZ, and that's what we uh, use here driving into the sector, even though it uh, of course means again that the vehicles will just uh, be parked there in the middle of the road and be easy pickings for the uh, enemy. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, I did equip all the night fighting equipment uh, we have on us, uh, for instance, of course, with. Uh, yeah, some of those people here, they don't have night vision goals because there's no need. For instance, we have a night vision scope on the hunting rifle, for instance. We can just use this for uh, for scouting purposes, it's no problem. Uh, except for the breath, uh, yeah, the stamina loss, really, because uh, walking or even crouch walking with your hunting rifle ready, I do think it scales with weight, for instance, yeah. Uh, it drains the stamina quite quickly, so we have to be careful with this, but uh, I do think it's a manageable one. And then we also, as I've, as I've explained here, we take some people with us or uh, here in the sector to help out since the other uh, elements here I do think they could be a little bit a uh, little bit on the weaker side and we took ears here for his uh, uh, radio set of course uh, mouse for scouting hopefully and maybe some clandestine kills we see and doc because well he is a pretty good rifleman and he uh, yeah, we can spare him I suppose from, uh, over there before the militia or until the militia rights I should say and uh, might only take another one in uh, half hours like that is I'm not quite sure yeah they're already here as you can see by that arrow and then we have believe it or not like uh, 50 or so militia here in this uh, one sector here spreading out in multiple directions so hopefully uh, we should be able to hold at least these two sectors here and uh, I, I'm quite sure this is another outpost of some description, uh, probably with a tank in it and a good, uh, a good uh, yeah, elite garrison here. I mean, 
we have to we we we, we move this uh, from our flank here as soon as possible. But at the moment, uh, we don't have the manpower to spare, and these uh, 20, I think it's actually how many are these actually? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I think it's 20. Uh, well, they cannot uh, do this on their own. I don't think. So for now, we have to actually take over the sector first, again, don't we? And let's see. Um, I don't think it should take long for them to arrive. Since they are on the truck and all. And the other ones here, they only uh, had to walk a short distance here. So, they are waiting. Uh, I don't think so, no. I'm gonna suck every mm -hmm. last ounce of blood out of you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see about this. Uh, you do have a night vision scope equipped and uh, interesting militia. I mean, I did, uh, I did give the march order, certainly, but uh, they were on foot, where also, uh, where our mercenaries, uh, excuse me, where as our mercenaries, they were using the vehicles, so how did they get here before us? Uh, uh, maybe we had some hitchhikers then, uh, I guess, beats me, but, uh, well, we could auto resolve this, no problem, but uh, I suppose since they're here, we take it, uh, but it is not, uh, I, I, I did not plan for this, uh, yeah. <laughs> But since the apology, so this is going to be another one of those uh, rather confused uh, battles there with the uh, useless dumb military AI at display. Oh, okay, but we have to take it over anyhow, so maybe we have some other targets to shoot at then, I mean the enemies. Okay, uh, obviously in this case we should probably do away with uh, German frequencies and then let the reinforcements in coming because since we do have so many militia with us, maybe we can fit out the other sector then uh, in the same engagement. And even if they only dispatch like uh, six to eight people, that would help immensely. Okay, um, enemies uh, going forward. And now we have some sizable militia force here in town. I mean, assuming they don't wipe out half the garrison here because of their own, stupidi own stupidity. Okay, so I can barely see anything on my monitor here on the minimap, to be honest. So let's see about possible anti positions from this angle here. So, uh, where can we spawn actually? So, so down here is the alleyway, maybe. So maybe back here as well. And then, okay, well, I'm not sure where the enemies are. Absolutely so, zero clue, excuse me. So, um,. Just because, just because we spawn here in the, in the dark alleyway someplace, it doesn't mean that there's an enemy, enemy around to interrupt us uh, as soon as we spawn in, because, well, this is very close and they probably have to have some night vision goggles, so, um, and Leon had to remain in the other sector, um, to, you know, we, because we couldn't afford to strip away too many forces before our militia uh, arrives there from the north. In case there's a counterattack, so I decided to leave our squad leader back there. Uh, yeah, that brings us back to the point that we need to hire a second one, and yeah, I do think it has to be Scream. Uh, yeah, most likely. So let's see. Um, actually, let's just consider where our trucks uh, would be parked, probably over here. Uh, this seems to be the most obvious anti position because this, this is a dead, uh, dead end, uh, as far as I can tell. This is the road leading north here to Drake, so that makes sense. And then I suppose. To be honest, I, I, I can't I can, I can see jack shit on my monitor, I have absolutely no idea if this is even passable here or anything that is where we are supposed to go, so um, I guess we put them here all uh, in a clump and then, and, then, and then hope that we can interrupt any, any enemies if they're around here. And ears uh, can maybe do some spotting then from this side once we've cleared the way for mouse, I suppose, or with mouse, but it uh, puts us very far away from the militia. And uh, if we end up in uh, the trouble, they would be too far away, I think. Um, no, maybe we go with this instead. I mean, mouse can uh, look around here on her own. That's not a problem. Uh, okay, we... Maybe we take this here and let's see how many people we can actually put in that particular spot. Okay, Jubilee, um, we do have... Uh, uh, well, she doesn't carry any special equipment except for uh, 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 one disposable rocket launcher if memory serves, so I don't think there are, there are any tanks in the sector, but I might be mistaken, we'll see. But we have some armor with this, hopefully the militia won't stumble into uh, the tank if there is any before our mercenaries can get in range with, to, to take it out with heavy ordnance. Okay, but we can certainly uh, put like two or three people over here, that's okay. For instance, Leech could then shoot down here because if, if, if the militia spawns uh, in here alongside the truck, which is uh, possible but not guaranteed, then well, we would have no uh, clear, clear shot uh, anyhow. Yeah, I do think that's a good idea. And the mouse, okay, you can stay down there and do some scouting, that's fine. Ellie, we need for uh, spotting purposes for Leech, and finding that we can also shoot with our own uh, hunting rifle. Um, Buddha could, uh, could go with 50 militia, that's okay. Uh, Leech, of course, you go over there, please. And uh, Doc, uh, okay, I... 
Yeah, I, I think I, I'd uh, rather put all of our guys coming in from the west here, except for Maus and one spot so they can support each other, and then we can decide where to go. And Nails does have an SMG, and, uh, well, also an RPG too just occurred to me, so, but he's uh, a little tired still, despite uh, getting a good night's sleep here, at least for a couple of hours, and, uh, well, if there's a tank around here and lots of militia in front of us, well, we cannot shoot any house, so maybe we should put him over here as well. I mean, I mean the, the militia should be able to handle themselves and have parts with the fashion no less, but uh, yeah, he, they don't necessarily need all support, I don't think. So maybe you can make ourselves useful from this angle and then um, orchestrate some sort of pincer attack here, we'll see. Okay, and then do think this everyone. So fingers crossed, hopefully we don't get Im immediately interrupted here and killed. I have the upper hand. All right, so the enemy fails to see me. So there's an... How? Yeah, there's an elite right in front of us, and uh, he has spawned off the, on the other side of this impassable building, so that's great. Yeah, that's what I meant. There was absolutely no way to see this on the minimap, so... Okay, he's an elite with... Uh, we don't know, whatever. Uh, so, we shoot him with our uh, good rifle here. I don't think that would get us very far right now, so... We try to stun grenade and hope that we don't get interrupted here while we are uh, trying to throw it, because it can certainly happen. Yeah, we'll see about this. And obviously, we are completely exposed, so... Like this, but uh, since it was done, grenade, he didn't get to shoot, thankfully. And I do think he dropped. Uh, actually, I do think he he dropped an anti-material uh, rifle. Well, this range it might have missed anyhow, but you know. Okay, so he didn't see us. That's good. Okay, uh, but this really also not good. Uh, yeah, speaking of things not going very well, look at this nonsense over here. We have 40 militia spawning in and uh, in only one spot here. Okay. Now, this is going to be a clusterfuck and already tell, but he, he has to go, and is, are there any options, uh, you know, a little more silent than this? Uh, yes, I did strip all the um, offensive grenades here to pass to Meltdown, for that matter, so at the moment we are restricted to Illumination and Smoke, which seems to be the, use, uh, the most useful selection for him right now. Um, the flashbang is uh, very noisy, yeah, 40 tiles. Uh, we could use another stun grenade here, is this within range? We could check. Uh... Neither of these are guaranteed to go off, I suppose. So maybe we should shoot instead. But he would just turn around and probably put some, uh, pump some bullets uh, in us, I suspect. So, uh, well, there, maybe we could jump through the window and take some damage, I guess. But it uh, doesn't really help us right now. So I do think we try the stun grenade. Uh, yeah, what's the aperture actually with the, uh, with the SMG? It looks pretty decent, to be honest. And we do have the right type of ammo loaded, even though it is, uh, cold lo is, it, it is the cold loaded variety here to help with recoil. Uh, I mean, if these things were at 70 uh, something uh, condition, I might, uh, yeah. Hmm. But laying in the, in the, on the sidewalk here doesn't help us, to be honest. So. Did you actually hear anyone else, or was it just that uh, one guy walking out the door in response to. So, I don't think it was the only one he noticed, but of course it doesn't mean that the building is clear. And at least we are in the dark, so if we lay down here and then... Actually it's not... Just, uh, yeah, 36, so... But we didn't see anyone in this... Ah. Man, if, if, the, if the stun grenade, okay, it's a better option in theory, but if, if it's a dud, uh, then it would not uh, offer any protection, he would, he would just get an interrupt, look around and shoot us because he does have, uh, okay, he doesn't have night vision goggles, but uh, uh, because we don't have either at the moment, oh, they, he, should, he, he certainly would be able to see us, unfortunately, so I do think we, I do think we have to go prone here and then shoot, then hope it's uh, good enough here to keep us safe. And then next turn we have to scramble for some cover here, maybe, or smoke ourselves or something like this, because obviously uh, this building being in the way here for the anti positions, it's uh, yeah, that was impossible to tell for me from the mini map, unfortunately. So we give it a try, and uh, do we aim low or. Well, what's the uh, recoil rating right now? So 5.7, that's very good. So I do think we go for the torso then, and uh, maybe we could shoot again if we miss, but hopefully that won't occur. No, it was not a kill. Uh, okay, and he, act, he acts as a spotter, but I do think we inflicted a little bit of uh, suppression here. That's why his visual range has degraded. 
And yeah, we do have a muscle break on that thing, so okay, not a flash of but he has to go. And uh, we do not have we do not have do not have uh, we do not have action points for anything else anyhow. So <sighs> piece of cake. Mm, I'm not sure about this ears. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's our useless militia here, starting out. Yeah, hopefully it will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we are the enemy in this case, actually. This is an attack and not a defense for a change, even though the last, uh, <laughs> the, the, the last engagement wasn't supposed to be defensive, actually, either. But uh, just turned out that way. Hopefully we can avoid this predicament this time around. See, they try to stay out of the light and fail uh, miserably, unlike the uh, enemy AI. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, so, 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 let's see then. Uh, this guy, uh, we still have to kill, and there's no one around to help our dog, and uh, we know there's a second one charging in right now, uh, probably. Okay, um, then with mouse, we can uh, send her on her merry way to do some scouting, and I'm sure we're going to spot some people, even though we don't have night vision uh, goggles uh, on her, because it does count as uh, suspicious equipment, as would uh, any sort of helmet here, so... Okay, but we can just uh, run here in the open down the street, that's okay. And then maybe we can help out over there, because uh, once again, this is impossible from this angle. And if we want to help our dog over here, I mean, if we could, then it would have to be from this way. Yeah, um, might take her like uh, four turns to get here, so probably way too late. And this is not jumpable, but uh, maybe we can call it the militia here, uh, because we have a headset on ears at a certain. Uh, come to me, and then maybe they get in range here uh, for anyone else. Mm -hmm, I don't think that uh, was the idea, but then again, he wouldn't have too many action points to make anything happen, because, well, he's at 46 right now, and uh, using the radio side, I do think, is uh, 40. So, okay. Then let's see what we can make happen over here. First yeah. things first, we uh, probably take the binoculars and then let our line of sight calculations refresh. Okay, and uh, so far we don't see anyone around here. That's uh, concerning, but uh, maybe we can fix this. Yeah, and thanks to this being all, all illuminated, we can see down to the intersection and uh, that would be good intel for Leech, for instance, and he should well, yeah. uh, set up here right away and uh, maybe just lay here in the dirt because we do have a bipod and that thing, since it's standard equipment. And for him, uh, you know, even if you have to shoot from the standing stance or the crouching stance, it is not uh, much of a penalty. Uh, it's only minuscule, to be honest. Whereas uh, shooting from prone position with a bipod uh, offers great benefit. I do think there's minus 75% uh, to gun handling, for instance. We could just check real quick. Yeah, see, minus 75. And if we do get 100% uh, here uh, to counter for stability. But it's, of course, it's a bolt action rifle. It doesn't have a, a, any automatic fire. So it doesn't apply yeah. in this case. Okay, uh, is there any way to swing around here? Um... I mean, for the dark alleys here, but it doesn't seem to be the case, unless we want to... Uh, we cannot even jump over any of these windows, can we? Uh, what about doors here we have to worry about? Um, this does not seem to be, but nails uh, should uh, look over there just in case. Prime. I mean, there could be an enemy back here, uh, potentially, but I do think the militia would, would, uh, would have already spotted them. But you never know. So, let's give it a try, just in case. Uh, you know, it's an insurance package. Okay... And so far we don't see anyone around here. Makes sense uh, that the enemy force, if they are, they would be guarding something a little more valuable, such as this uh, factory building here, whatever it is. It looks uh, oddly familiar. Um, I actually, I do think they will use some assets here from the Callisto map. Yeah, I do think it looks uh, pretty much the same down here. All right, then I'm already familiar with the internal uh, floor plan here of this building then. Uh, right. Jubilee, I suppose we press against this uh, building here while we can, and then sidestep if we quiet, even though it's a little uh, on the brighter side, but it doesn't matter because well, we are over here and there are no enemies around and no windows or anything that we can tell, as far as we can tell, and we checked over here before we changed lighting with Ellie, and there was no one inside this particular building, as far as we know. And then... Yeah, let's double check with your equipment, because well, uh, it's, it, was, <laughs> it has been quite some time since the last... Uh, uh, time we were in battle here, I saw you personally, I mean. I don't think that was uh, back in Port Kip, yeah, believe it or not. Uh, how many episodes ago? 20? 25? Can I lost count? 
I think we are at a 78, uh, 58 or something like this. Okay, so just a basic rifle here with uh, muscle break, and we do have uh, heavy, 5 and 6 at the very least, okay. Some grenades, as well as the Akimo pistols here, but I did at the very least uh, put in some AT ammo, since we do have uh, crate on those on the truck. And you do have generation 3 night vision goggles, alright. So, nothing uh, more than a basic rifleman then. Okay, and I do think um, Leech couldn't get an intro because yeah. even if he, because action points wise it doesn't work, but we can uh, set up with Ellie here as a spotter, and then hopefully we can get uh, something happen here, uh, make something happen next turn, um, because well, if the enemy is down here, and there are certain to be some, um, they will uh, come to, in to investigate the noise and to, yeah, respond to their call for help. I mean, he didn't get an opportunity to call uh, in any reinforcement, but certainly the, the one around here. It seems to be a different story. And uh, I don't think he's still completely suppressed. Um, maybe. Hey, what okay, you mean? Let's leave the root dog here before I forget. And he been also... Actually, no. Of course, he spawned the fifth the militia here, what am I saying? Uh, but it seems to be unnecessary because, well, I didn't count on 40 of those uh, guys here spawning in in, uh, you know, the, in the same spot. So it, maybe he can use his uh, headset here to uh, direct him a little, but... Uh, Okay, how long would... Okay, we cannot even get from... Uh, is there an obstruction? I or, or maybe it's just the militia here blocking all the uh, possible uh, tiles here to go past because it seems to be uh, two tile here or something like this. A fair. Okay, makes sense. Then... Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Just uh, try to keep up with the militia here and then hopefully you can... Shoot the shotgun or the RPG too if it came to this, and uh, we don't have to worry about windows as much because we have lots and lots and lots of people to attract fire. Uh, we just stay out out of the lights here personally. That seems to be a good idea. And if you go down here, we could also throw grenades over the over the wall. I, sus I suspect, yeah, I think that's not a terrible idea. We get uh, start on this. We can advance as fast as we want to, uh, essentially, but maybe not. Uh, I guess we hide behind some meat shields for now. Okay. As uh, hard as it is to say, but it's all about the militia is good for, unfortunately. At least then we're turn mode. Alright then, uh, that's everything with, with squad number 3. And then we see what I'm we ready. can do with ears and dog. Well, dog is completely stuck here. Um, I mean, he... Uh, How? And that, I mean, experience level 3. We are quite fortunate that we managed to avoid getting interrupted here. Or counter interrupted, I think. Uh, that's what uh, happened here. So, um... And if there's another soldier back here, we heard, I mean, he uh, taunted us from all the way back there, so I don't think he, he could turn the corner next turn. Uh, yeah, it's a little redundant, isn't it? So, but we do have uh, 6.8 by 33 armor piercing loaded, and it uh, should be enough to shoot the elite in the head here and kill him, hopefully. And uh, actually, what's our stance right now? I can't tell from this angle. So we're standing. Uh, makes sense since I threw a grenade, so... Okay, um... Uh, going prone here doesn't help us, but maybe we should at least put the gas mask on, just in case they decide to throw a, a gas grenade on us. Even though every two shoot was after taking the shot. So, can we just crouch here and then shoot at him, I suppose, since we have nowhere to go. I mean, we could run away right now, couldn't we? Um, but it doesn't uh, take care of the elite, because, well, uh, the effects here on mouse, uh, last turn, uh, excuse me, last engagement, notwithstanding, uh, these elites, they do recharge uh, stamina, uh, and as well as... Uh, Five points at a, as a, at a much, rapid, uh, much more ra rapid pace, excuse me, than our mercenaries, I've noticed, so I don't think we try to take him out here, and apparently we cannot aim for his head. Uh, there we go. Okay, just uh, just try a headshot here, please. Uh, I don't think it was... Uh, I think I misclicked here because it's only one pixel wide here, selection, uh, for some reason. It's still not dead, yeah, see, that's the problem with these deletes. Uh, even though we have a high-end uh, weapon on him, at least on paper. Yeah. Look at this, uh, this is just pixel hunting here, so... I suppose you can just finish him off with a torso shot then. There we go. Most fortunate. Yeah, that is, it's, uh, that's the same anti-material rifle, so I must have been mistaken then. Uh, this is not being standard issue, so that's quite uh, concerning to be honest that we... That they already make their appearance, and then with ears... Uh, what's the... Redness waiting here, so this is uh, dark, completely dark, uh, at least, uh, okay. We should also do away with that, uh, uh, okay, we try to call in the militia uh, to help our dog, I suppose. But that may not uh, have the desired effect, to be honest, they may just uh, decide that they, can, that they cannot get to us, and then go the long way around or something like this, so, okay, uh... 
Okay, die gibt zwei. Ja, der ist one, okay. I don't think uh, it helps that much because these guys are blocking the, their, his path or their path I should say. Okay, and down here we have um, not, oh, interesting. So someone uh, had some pathfinding issues with which is why the game locked up briefly. Makes sense. Okay, and then with Doc, uh, yeah, we, he can't do anything with him unfortunately and with ears. Uh, well, he just uh, spent most of his action points. So I do think we just have to, we just have to lay here with the SMG ready and hope we can take one accurate burst if it came to this. And then I do think it's all for now. Oh. Yeah, see, that's the first casualty. Okay, more down here makes sense, but we didn't see them with Ellie's binoculars probably because they already passed the intersection. Okay, there's someone. Good, good. I mean, it's not that good to be honest, but uh, this one we should be able to take out without uh, any difficulties. I'm hoping. Yeah, see, they take one look here and then run back. It's very helpful there. Thanks. But as I said here, uh, doing our attack on the Callisto Sam side, there is no point to try to direct the, uh, the mid the militia. They will just uh, ignore your orders after one turn at the very least and just do whatever they want to do. It doesn't seem to be a pattern or formation or any grand plan at uh, at uh, display here or anything like this, so I'm not quite sure. I'm ready. At the very least, they can do some spotting for us. And uh, since we did uh, hear someone, he's probably around uh, the... Where actually, where's the entrance to this compound? So, there's a closed door here, makes sense, but we have some uh, people here to surprise them, thankfully. Here. Okay, I do think Ellie and uh, Leech will just stay here, but the others uh, take up, uh, move their way across here. And hopefully we can... Ready. And we could throw a grenade over this, uh, potentially, but for now I do think we advance here quite... Uh, we could just run past this since we know he's inside and then take a position here, but it's way too dangerous because we haven't cleared out this uh, building, for instance, but uh, we saw into it with Ellie and there was no one. Here. And this intersection we have already have in view, I do think this uh, it may, may expose us here because this is uh, valid up here underneath the street lights. So if we want to go over there, we have to uh, scout here with a uh, mouse first, but uh, she has more important thing to do, to be honest, uh, that is now? to help our dog. Uh, but there's only one path to take any house, so... Right. Can I get there in one turn, so we can then maybe reconsider? Yeah, see, there is the sergeant. And uh, we don't know about his equipment, but maybe that's something we could uh, make happen here in terms of a stealth kill, since this is uh, unoccupied, this portion of the road. And then I think the militia saw one here, as well as another one on the road who killed one of ours. And then as far as Ali goes, I do think there's another one back here someplace. And that uh, uh, I do think that uh, leaves like uh, 15 enemies unaccounted for. That's uh, not great. But to be honest, uh, uh, we might discover their presence f f shortly here. I, I, I'm probably not by choice, to be honest. But we'll see. Uh, we had a little crash there. Uh, sorry about this. Um, uh, we lost, I do think, uh, two turns in total here because I forgot to autosave there on the second one. Um, too bad, but, uh, alright, there's no, uh, reason to pretend that I, that I don't know where most of the enemy forces are. And this is in this alleyway here. I do think they have ten guys at the very least with more uh, incoming. And the, yeah, the we will see in a moment. Uh, mouse obviously is too far away to have eyes on them right now, but, uh, you can trust me, that's where they are. And then we have to get our people here to safety. For instance, uh, yes, well, he has no way to go. Made absolutely zero, uh, way. And, uh, sure, you can try to kick in the store with 71 strength, but, uh, there's lots of action points. It's very noisy, and, uh, him getting discovered right now would be a death sentence, uh, most likely. And we, I mean, it's just fortunate that the enemy, uh, they, I mean, that they focus their attention on the guys around these parts and our militia meat shields if you will so i do think we uh run now? mouse over there at full speed and then uh, maybe get a stealth kill or so out of this just to make sure that they cannot uh discover ears yeah see there's one the sergeant and there's an elite around here inside the building right now and there are more people in this alleyway and that also means that of course our snipers are completely out of position here to make anything happen and yeah doc is still oh. back here but he can retreat and I, I did this last turn it's not a problem but uh, at the moment he could not help out uh, yes he had any fashion whatsoever but I can at least check what the aperture looks like at least in theory with our uh, impromptu, impromptu grenadier if you will and as you can see there's no way here to uh, help out. Uh, actually we might be able to so but uh, of course we're also exposed from this here and I do think this is uh, 
Okay, it's uh, 22, so it's not terrible in terms of uh, brightness, but the angle just doesn't work. We could get here, alright, but it doesn't help ears necessarily. So, and if you go here and sidestep, um, uh, what would it give us really? We don't have, I mean, we have a flashlight on this thing, I suppose. Uh, but it would be, of course, a lot safer to just retreat here. But we also need another flank. For instance, this this would, this would be a great angle here for Leech and then, or Elif, yeah, to open up a flank. But uh, what do you know? They're all over there. So what can we do? Um, get, get into range. I don't see how because, uh, well, it's very far away. And they're not the fastest people, so... Yeah, well... <sighs> I mean, Doc uh, would have to run all the way over here and then enter in this clusterfuck of a militia. Uh, so maybe he can just sidestep here next turn or something like this. And they, they already know we're here. They have other, other, other targets to shoot at, so we don't have to uh, engage in stealth or anything like this. So we just have to find where the uh, edge here is of this. Uh, so I think this is the sidewalk and there is the wall. So we have to go here. And then we can maybe sidestep here next turn. And I'm not sure how many action points it takes to activate that flashlight. But considering we don't have night, we don't have night vision goggles, uh, we, we might need the uh, additional illumination here. So uh, yeah, we click on this, I think. And then oh, just one, one AP, so we can do this uh, at the start of next turn. It's not a problem. Okay, and I'm yes, ready. we just have to rely on interrupt, I suppose. Uh, we also have a flashlight on here, so maybe you should use this, but that doesn't really help us. Uh, I'm not sure if it illuminates our tile or just the tiles in front of it, but uh, I suppose we can find out. Might uh, make our survival here a little more likely. Enemy. Uh, oh, good thing we did then, but it does increase our uh, brightness rating here. So, 100%, okay, yeah. Well then, yeah. Now maybe you can take a shot and then turn off the flashlight again or something like this. But he certainly sees us right now, makes sense. Uh, well... Yeah, but it's the first time I used this flashlight feature. Seems to be a quite handy thing, even though it does give away your position, naturally. Yeah, but there was only enemy around here to see it. Okay, uh, strong, so probably a bodybuilder, which is fantastic. So we have to fire lots and lots of bullet to, uh, bullets to take him out, and we can just, uh, then we just uh, have to hope that the other enemies, they won't swing around yeah. here because of our uh, noise. Yeah, we do have a muzzle I'm break ready. on this thing, but it doesn't matter because no one else can, should be able to see it. And this is impassable swampy part here, I suppose, of this, uh, this sector. Uh... Oh, what's the, uh, what's the vehicle? I think I think it was six point something, so maybe you can shoot for the torso. Ah. Yeah, see, uh, definitely a bodybuilder. Oh, I did. So we at least can suppress him then. And we need one action point to turn our uh, turn of our flashlight. Uh, uh, so hopefully we don't get overboard. But it shouldn't happen because it appears we would empty, empty the remaining magazine with this. Okay. What a time to be out of ammo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter Better right now. you than me. Yeah, it doesn't matter right now, so please uh, turn off that flashlight. There we go. Alright, uh, I think... Uh, I think at least uh, this, uh, this part worked unexpectedly. And, uh, okay, How? Doc would just sidestep here next turn. And, and uh, with his flashlight on, maybe we see someone to this position. Seems to be quite powerful. I think it was like... I'm ready. Uh... 20 tiles almost. That's well within range here for this... Uh, for this accurate rifle. Even for Doc, yes, because he's no longer a complete greenhorn. And then I was considering the food dog here to move uh, to this position and then throw uh, here first and then throw hand, hand grenades over the over that uh, wall. Uh, that wooden fence, I should say. And I do believe it was completely safe move to take, so we uh, do just this. Mm -hmm. Just have to make sure that they cannot see us through the window. And what we have, we have here a good, I mean, we have a good selection here. Uh, these lighter grenades, they should be, we should be able to chuck them over the wall, no problem. And another issue we run into is that there, there's a guy here in the compound, uh, refusing to come out. Prime. We even throw some tear gas into this uh, thing here with nails just to flush him out, but uh, we didn't get anything. Uh, not any, yeah. And there was another uh, elite here or someone hiding here someplace where we can see him, either behind the fence uh, with 22 brightness rating or inside the building here behind this uh, Crouching behind the chest high object, uh, they have eyes on us now, right. pretty certain. And we don't, so that's always great. And there was no way to spot uh, them, I should say. Uh, or he, her, or he, I'm not sure. I can demonstrate real quick. So if we go here with Ellie and then look through the binoculars, or even the hunting rifle. Um, we have great line of sight into this building, sure. But they just choose to remain here, behind this window. And it gives us nothing to work with, so... 
Maybe we get an interrupt here, maybe we don't, but I do think that we have Ready. to throw smoke here. And Jubilee doesn't have any, because, well, we didn't get an opportunity to actually be armed with it here. And then I do think we have uh, Iggy still here at some point, because he was assigned to the wrong squad, and that's why I keep for 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 forgetting about him. And he's invisible, uh, standing here in the dark, so... Uh, can fix this uh, during the battle, believe it or not. I think it was a newly implemented feature, so there we go. And then please join the proper squad, and voila. You can actually see him here no. and remember his presence. And then we throw, I do think we only have one smoke grenade on you. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where it is, to be honest. What and then down here, we didn't get any targets anyhow, so instead we just uh, look into this building there and try to uh, get a beat on this guy here hiding in the bar or whatever it is, or shop, because it seems to be a civilian inside. And to make it drops more likely, we throw up another focus. Not that it would get us anywhere, I am. I, I would guarantee you, we're just going to camp there. Uh, waiting to get a, a, a drop on us, which is always fantastic. And we have nowhere to go here to advance them because all of this is well illuminated and we only have a couple of smoke grenades. I mean, only one here, probably. Duh. When we serves. Yeah, so only one. We are, but we have to start with this. And, uh, yeah. Well, Iggy can do this next turn, probably. Once he isn't too far away, but because, yeah, you guessed that uh, we have to be here to actually throw the grenade down there and that would uh, expose us. That's always fantastic. Prime. And do we bother with another grenade here on the, uh, into this compound? Because uh, if we do affect them with tear gas, and uh, it would be great. Because then we can go in there and flush them out uh, once we have taken care of him, I suppose. And I also checked there's no way to help out our militia friends over here with nails. Because, well, we could climb over the roof, uh, but then... Uh, you do recall what happened there in Drake, uh, the, I mean, the, 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 the last time we tried to take advantage here of the higher position. Just completely bypassed this ceramic plates here and almost killed him, and uh, there are no back doors here or climbable walls or anything like this to get onto the other side, so... Uh, what's your smoke grenade situation? So we do have uh, only one, I think. Uh, we have two here and two tear gas, uh, tear gas grenades and one mustard gas and then one stun grenade. Well, it's not fantastic, but I do think that's all we could pick up here after the fight here in the suburbs, uh, along with some crappy fragmentation grenades that may or not go off. Uh, it would be too dangerous to use anyhow because, as you can see, there's already one civilian and uh, there's bound to be another one uh, inside here somewhere. So, I mean, these tear gas grenades are quite cheap. Uh, they usually don't get to expand this very often, so maybe you should just try to smoke this again. I do think the last uh, grenade was uh, off target, just a little bit. Or do we just... Uh, I mean, we have to make sure that they, they, they cannot climb over the uh, over the roof here and surprise us, so... I suppose we just restrict ourselves to this. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just... I'm not sure, we just have to line and interrupt, that's all I can do, to be honest. And then let's see what we get, hopefully uh, they don't kill ears. See, that's a delete. Uh, yeah, okay, what's the other building? That doesn't really matter, ultimately, does it? Yeah. See, uh, our guys brought these shitty weapons uh, at their disposal so they don't make any dent in these uh, enemies here with their body armor. Yeah, just go ahead, yeah, just get real close for their 12 damage. Of, uh, 12 points of total damage, I should say. Yeah, we impressive, yes. Yeah, and uh, once again, our militia is completely useless. They, just, they, they stay in the lit up areas. They don't, don't, they don't even make the attempt to avoid them, but the enemy hides in the stack anyways. Yeah, so. Once again, our dump down militia friends uh, at display. Uh, especially here, uh, the instance of. Uh, uh, yeah. Friendly Fire, I think that was uh, down to critical, so almost that just, just, just for Friendly Fire alone. And they also shot the, the other Brave one over here. Yeah, great, so. Maybe you should Ready. just retreat and out of his office better, but I suppose I didn't plan on the calling militia in. I mean, I didn't want to. They arrived uh, before us or along with us, even though we used the vehicles and they were on foot, so beats me. At night, they should be even slower than this. So, okay, let's check real quick here. We have... Oh, it's just 17. <sighs> yeah, you see, he didn't do anything. He's just waiting here behind his window with his weapon ready. And as soon as we step around the corner, we will get interrupted and shot. Most likely, we can absolutely nothing about it. I mean, we could shoot some light suppression fire. Uh, I mean, not with the hunting rifle, but uh, he's here somewhere I know. Uh, behind the fence or behind the stupid window. We just don't know. Uh, so, what can we do, really? We cannot see him. We can't spot him, even though we have uh, we have fancy night fighting equipment. It just doesn't uh, matter, apparently. So, maybe if Ellie goes over here and then 
something like this, but I really doubt it, so... Obviously, advancing here in the middle of the street is really stupid, but, but what can you do if, if, you know, if you cannot see anything here? Uh, because it's just complete garbage, line of sight, so what can we do, really? Ugh, so annoying. They just hide here the whole time, uh, motionless, no uh, noise, no anything, no Ready. movement, and then we just, uh, you know, walk into here. And was just Ready. fortunate that, uh, you know, doing the, uh, yeah, doing the crash game here, uh, that they actually missed Jubilee, but that was the only reason why I'm aware of his presence. So. Duh! And he will just see the, get the interrupt here when we throw the grenade and we can do it from this angle because this is 50% tire, uh, 50 obstruction of this tire and it blocks all hand grenade uh, throws, so... Maybe it's around here, maybe it is. Who knows, but we have to at least, uh... I think it was down here, but, uh... If you put the grenade all the way uh, this side, it doesn't help us, to be honest, because we have to advance to the other side of the, of the road. So... Maybe we can, uh, maybe could, uh, throw grenade on there, blind one, but I have absolutely no idea where this guy is, to be honest, so... Ready! Maybe, I guess we try the, uh, we try a blind suppression burst on there, maybe that's will wake him up. Sometimes the, uh, the AI reacts to fire, even if they're campers, so I suppose we give it a try. I doubt it had a desired effect, but you never know. What and the lead should uh, be able to see that when they step out of the window, uh, out of the door at the very least. Okay, Prime. and they also just have to, uh, I know we, I mean, we have some tear gas grenades and they are useless most of the time, so I suppose we just give it a try. Maybe we get some uh, Audi cruise out of it next turn. I mean, where he tries to retreat here. Uh, maybe if we get a little closer, maybe that would work, yes. Uh, there we go, there's one valid uh, tile apparently, but I don't think it would be good enough and the door is uh, over here someplace, so... I guess we make the attempt and then see what we get. I mean, these tear gas grenades, as I, as I explained, they are pretty useless to be honest. Is at this point? So, should expand maybe? Don't think that got us anywhere, but it's certainly someone here because he gave away his, his position here by talking. Or taunting even. Duh. Okay, and with Iggy here we throw a grenade and then let's see about Wood Dog. Hey, um, yeah, actually. First things first here, we, wow. we, I think that is, uh, we sidestep uh, first and then we activate our flashlight, I think. Alright, it only takes one AP, thankfully, it must be a pretty easily accessible switch then. Uh, there's no one on there, interesting. Uh, and it also illuminates ourselves here, right? Yeah, 100%. Even though it's not technically not accurate if you use the flashlight uh, at night, uh, certainly the enemy knows where you are, but uh, all they see is the, is the cone here of light in front of you, and not your body specifically, but I suppose they could, uh, they could make the assumption and that was the only way to actually reflect this, uh, yeah, this uh, relation here. When it comes to line of sight, but obviously if you have a flashlight in front of you and the, the, the enemy sees it from the side, uh, obviously they would have a little bit of uh, better eyes on you. Seems at least uh, reasonable, and I can't really tell from uh, how far you can see from this uh, angle, to be honest, so... Okay, but... Maybe a couple of tiles, and we turn off the flashlight again. Ah, uh, because... Oh, I... So... It's just one tile wide, then, apparently, so that's too bad. Okay, so far, so good, and I do think we turn this off again, so it is complete darkness right now. And then... Right, so it's also a, bit, a little clunky here, uh, but okay, it's the best that, you could, that they could do, uh, to suppose. I'm ready. And then with mouse, we need to get closer here to help out ears or to escort him to safety, I should say. But this lead would also be a juicy target, naturally. Uh, no night vision goggles, uh, interesting, but he does have a gas mask, so. Yeah, but we can't afford this, we have to help out uh, ears here before he gets killed. And if you go here, we should oh, be. Look. Yeah, that's well, good and all. And there uh, are two more people here, so that would be a good uh, angle uh, for some heavy, or heavy audience if we still had any, right? Okay. Uh, if there are enemies, they can I'm only ready. be at this spot, so we can afford to check, uh, brief, uh, to check briefly here with the flashlight. Damn. Yeah, see? That's what I meant. So there's another one. I come to investigate, and uh, we don't actually. We don't even have a sidearm on you. Um, okay. 
Uh, can, how many extra points does it take to reload? And then, so that's 34 reloading. Uh, so 42, and that leaves us with one accurate burst, I think. So we give it a try. Uh, because we don't have any uh, offensive option. And now, uh, standing up now to throw a grenade, and not only would this be out of range, it would not do anything for us. Uh, chances are. I mean, we could smoke ourselves, but if this guy wants to cross in into melee range, well, then we couldn't do anything uh, about this. And uh, uh, our mouse is unfortunately. Now? <laughs> okay, I think mouse is just out of the line of fire here, but we might I'm suppress ready. her, but it's the risk we have to take. Okay. But uh, to be honest, I'm really tired of getting screwed over by this game. Uh, not only when it came to the shortcomings here. Um, I mean, the problems with quality assurance. Uh, when, I mean, of the Urban Chaos mod specifically, but I'm not mad at the original mod or so anything like this. It's a huge uh, total conversion mod and they are bound to miss a couple of things. But uh, yeah, I mean, this case, there was no uh, way to tell from the mini-map that this uh, paths here, that, 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 that they wouldn't intersect, you know. Uh, all I saw was uh, ears and dogs standing very close to each other, like uh, directly adjacent. So my explanation was that they could uh, then move uh, to some other position here and leapfrog. But obviously, uh, I, I got screwed over here again uh, without any, uh, no, any, any, I. Any opportunity I should say to Nulls in advance, I mean, uh, what you're supposed to do, uh, spawn into the sector, then we were to an earlier save game after you know what the map looks like, I mean, that's not really how I want to play this, so... Uh, if, if Ears dies here, just because of this, I might actually uh, reload, uh, but hopefully it doesn't come to this, because it's just come getting screwed over again, I'm really getting tired of this, you know, despite all the precautions I take, uh, and my attempts to play this uh, fair and square, as you know. Uh, I, Sometimes I, I, I just not get too far with this, unfortunately. Yeah. Great. So now uh, you miss all your shots, really. Uh, I suppose you can at least take off at... Uh, yeah, actually, we couldn't even do this. Actually, could we? Just so he doesn't uh, see us right away. You know, we would have to move up. Oh, this is so stupid. Okay, then. Um, so we have... I, I think we... Wanted, uh, accomplished over here, I think. So, fingers crossed. Hey, I mean, name? except for Rudox, so he cannot help out. He's way too far away, but we should be able to get in the, into range here soon for our hand grenades. And thanks to Mouse, we know there are three guys around here, but we lost the line of sight because, well, the light of sign cal cal calculations were uh, updated again because we activated the flashlight and that apparently we do the sector wide, uh, yeah, in, in addition to all the other um, instances here, like the incendiary shells and. Uh, and send the grenades for that metal, like the Molotov cocktail, and also some of the explosives. So, I don't think that happened all the time for a 70, but not as frequently. But uh, I suppose they did have to update this engine in some fashion to make these dynamic lighting effects possible, because I don't think that was something uh, implemented there in 70 or in the original game for that matter. So, I don't think we have to uh, sidestep here first before we do anything else. Just in, just in case there's another enemy around here or on the other side of the window. So, we can actually look on the roof here. It's interesting. Uh, of course, there are night ops and they did give you the best uh, night fighting equipment we could buy or money can buy, even uh, period. So, and so. If there are any, they might come uh, around here, so we cannot uh, advance blindly, but we can certainly set up a focus here to put some buckshot into anyone coming around the corner. Maybe not this turn, but uh, yeah. Okay, we'll see about this, and then with well, each, well, we just have to wait, and maybe we can interrupt, maybe we don't. I don't think he's critical. Yeah, great. So, another one there inside the compound, shooting at our completely exposed militia, but of course they are too stupid to stay out of the lit up areas. And that means our militia forces, once the battle is over, will have been depleted by at least 50% or something like this. So, so much for our, for, for our reinforcements here. Yeah, but again, uh, I didn't want to call them in, I just happened to arrive at the same time, even though logically it did not make, it did not make any sense. And then I'll spare you the rest of this engagement here, which was a complete mess, uh, by the way. And I'm not referring to the presence of our militia fellows here, necessarily, even though that was completely unplanned. I mean, why uh, were they able to arrive on foot uh, at the same speed as our guys here using the vehicles? Well, beats me, but they were here, and uh, to their credit, they did help out quite a little bit. Uh, even though they suffered heavy casualties in the process, uh, but at least 40% uh, of those were down to friendly fire, I'm pretty certain. So, once again, gets to show that the uh, 
Military Eye ist was die Inferior to the Enemies, ja, so das fantastic. And in case you're wondering where the uh, West of the Garrison was, where other than the guys in the, uh, in the alleyway here, we were aware of, well, guess what, uh, more instance here of uh, people either spawning in, uh, in spots where they don't have no, no escape from, like this militia fellow here, he occupies the same spot at this, as this uh, um, elite fellow, I think it was a female for that matter, and they're two angled roofs to each side and the fence in front of them, so fantastic uh, placement their fellows and uh, over here we had more campers behind locked doors and I'm not sure if they refused to come out or if they didn't have the key or any combination thereof so that brings me to this little point uh, uh, at least this, this little decision I've made for myself and uh, coming from the Whitefire campaign where uh, any buildings uh, in the sector other than complete ruins pretty much guaranteed uh, the presence of at least a couple of campers there Well, uh, my patience for this bullshit has run extremely thin, uh, I mean extremely thin, I have to emphasize this, and in the future, I uh, once we are quite certain that, uh, there are, that there are only a couple of uh, stationary people in the sector remaining, like uh, behind locked doors or just uh, camping somewhere with their weapon ready, well then I will just uh, kill them off with cheat codes instead of wasting uh, my time and patient, uh, patience and uh, energy on this, uh, which I would rather use on actually something more productive, uh, for instance, when it comes to fixing the uh, these various uh, oversights here of urban chaos which uh, would have immediate uh, benefit for us uh, such as these uh, trash containers uh, because they are quite commonplace in these urban sectors maybe not this one in particular because it's a different tile set I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do and uh, otherwise uh, I don't think there's anything else to say about this particular engagement. I mean other, other it, uh, than it not being particularly enjoyable to me. So uh, hopefully we do have some equipment here at the very least. Um, Alright, so that's why yeah, we cannot, can, cannot access this because it's behind the fence and uh, we would have to cut a hole in this uh, first. Okay. Um, yeah, some cash here. By the way, I didn't bother to uh, search all the private homes, uh, only the warehouses here and anything that was nearby. Uh, usually there's nothing in there, maybe a wreck, maybe a smoke grenade or a first aid kit, uh, but nothing fancy to be honest. It's not like um, the uh, a, a vocal campaign or even the wildfire maps where they usually drop some ammo for you or some uh, basic guns in these uh, lockers and closets. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, the private home ownership of firearms is a lot more heavily restricted here uh, in Danubia than, than in Oroko, so that makes sense. I mean, from a story uh, perspective at the very least. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Uh, so... Okay, this seems to be the same concept, uh, seems to follow the same concept as the Yuda 94 revolver, um, which is to say a shotgun turned revolver, basically, uh, cut down shotgun shells. Uh, so it's, yeah, at least in terms of uh, damage here, that seems to have, seems to have uh, quite a bit of oomph, so very reliable as well. Mm -hmm, I'm quite liking this, so what's the... So this uh, hopefully is not ball ammo, uh, but by, by the um, font color here it might be. So, well, th well, that's not fantastic because of the way uh, damage ca ca calculations work here in a room footing stock. I can pretty much guarantee that anything below 1.0 point, uh, yeah, 1 here in the armor penetration department means it will be pretty much useless against these elites uh, unless we get a lucky bypass of the armor or you aim for the head and then bypass the or shoot him in the face directly, I should say, as it, is, as it, is, as it has it happened to lucky there. Excuse me. Yeah, it was a really long engagement, even though most of which was not the capture, captured on camera. Alright, um, okay, this is another anti-material rifle here, so, with a, la with a laser sight no less, but I suppose uh, they have to uh, spawn with some attachments, yeah, these needs they get more, and uh, I do think this is a good selection here of uh, various modern assault rifles, and, uh, you know, it tells me that uh, some of these uh, drops we saw here, um, I mistakenly assumed that they were very hard coded, but apparently not, so these elites, they command uh, even more respect than usual, since these modern assault rifles, they must be, uh, they must appear at uh, item progression 1 or 2. Uh, at most, so okay, these uh, guys are very dangerous then. And maybe we should buy some plates there for our mercenaries. But I did check with the penalties, as, uh, at least when it comes to ceramic plates, and uh, uh, those on their own they come with a uh, minus 30 to accuracy from the crouch stand, for instance. And that's on top of the uh, regular um, penalties here. For instance, we have minus 10 here, and uh, sometimes we carry one of those striker vests with us, which uh, I do think have a minus 6 penalty. So that would make our, most of our weapons there uh, uncontrollable to. Uh, 
everyone but a top notch mercenary so i don't think we can get uh, we can go with the uh, damage <laughs> um, sponge approach yeah at least not for most of our guys because i would like them to actually be able to hit stuff yes Okay, uh, good selection of grenades here, that's uh, at least something, and uh, finally we have a path here uh, cleared for our uh, supplies to get through, and it had to be done, uh, regardless of how enjoyable the engagement ultimately was. So now we can freely move supplies and uh, mil militia around here, then hopefully we don't have to retreat from this capital before they uh, attempt to push us out of it. But we cannot train anyone right now because, as you can see here, only four loyalty. And even if it were over 20, well, there's no police detachment in the sector. I'm not sure where they, is, uh, where they are, even. Um, they might not appear on this uh, map here. So, same side, uh, there seems to be a police detachment there, so that makes sense. Otherwise, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty certain it says here not, not available in the sector, then there is no police attachment there. So only the sub side, that seems unlikely to me. Maybe it's uh, a hidden facility. C could be the case, but we can check. Uh, yeah, so here is a police detachment we know that uh, from afar, even though we haven't visited this one specifically. So that's too bad. Only one sector here available for uh, militia training, which means that we have to call in most of our reinforcements here from Drake, most likely, since Vox... Uh, also, does not offer any facilities. I mean, I could fix this, uh, probably. I had to do the same here at Drake when it came to the jail. So maybe there's another uh, police station here in Adrian somewhere, which just isn't set up correctly because, well, uh, the entire map here, it wasn't updated properly. I mean, I made some attempts, certainly, but they missed a couple of uh, points here. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, no I've noticed that much. So maybe I, I can attempt to uh, remedy this uh, once we have uh, been to more of these sectors, like personally. I don't want to spoil the rest of the town for myself by just loading it up in the map, in the map, map editor, excuse me, to uh, check and correct any uh, variables that might be missing. So for now we just have to hold here and uh, well, at the very least we didn't take any damage. Uh, all the militia guys uh, acted as damage sponsors for us, yeah. <laughs> and the friendly fire for that matter, so I suppose uh, the enemy wasn't the most dangerous uh, for this instance. Okay, so I do think our next moves uh, will be to, um, not quite sure really, the some side certainly is dangerous, but I'm not too worried about it right now because it's outside of helicopter range without uh, Gotham available as a v, uh, v fuel uh, point, so I do think we should uh, remove this danger here from our flank. Uh, once the militia has been called in, it might take a while, but I'd rather not engage in any more nighting, uh, night fights, to be honest, even though we, does, uh, we do have a bit of night fighting capability. And as you saw, these... Uh, um, these flash rides, they're actually not terrible, so, um, yeah, it is not, it's too good. Yeah, I do think we can uh, work with that uh, if we don't have or don't want to put night vision goggles on a particular mercenary. Uh, so much yes. for the immediate uh, future then, uh, but I don't think there will be any fighting in the next couple of hours unless it were one of those hackers here launching a counter-attack, but uh, certainly for now I have quite a bit to do here in terms of logistics and uh, activities on the strategic layer. And we also need to hire a uh, replacement for Lucky, let's not forget. And uh, it would be a good idea to bring uh, along another uh, v veteran mercenary or two. But it's something I will take uh, care of off screen because while well, uh, making my decisions here and picking the right um, guys to come uh, to Danubia, well, uh, this should not be. Uh, these decisions shouldn't be made in a rush. I would have to take a couple of minutes here uh, aside to take a look at all the available guys at uh, MERC as well as the AIM uh, website. So uh, for now, I do think that should be all. So once again, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.